What's up guys, my name is Zebrix, and today I thought I would take some advantage of this morning sunlight coming through my kitchen windows and I would review this amazing Ninjago set for you. Now the reason I wanted to get the morning sunlight in here is just so you can see the true magnificent beauty of these vinyl parts. Just look at those. We'll get into those later on. I might remove them and actually just show you them. Um, but um, I just wanted you to see just how beautiful that is. Then it's just, it kind of just feels nice and warm and bright whenever you get the morning sunlight coming down. So let's get into this. So obviously this is Lego Ninjago 70674 Fire Fang. Um, it retailed for $40 when it came out last August 1st, I believe. It has 463 pieces and it was recommended for ages 8 and up. Came with four minifigures. Kai FS, which I believe stands for Forbidden Spinja 2. A Pyro Slayer, a Pyro Destroyer, and Asphira, who is the um, the tribe leader of the um, Pyro um, Pyro Vipers. She is the queen, and she's like a sorceress and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But um, there are a few little side builds in here, like this little thing um, and the spinner. But we'll get into those last. Let's start off with the big thing in the picture and that is the fire snake the pyro fire fang it's pretty cool so these little guys down here i actually find them really annoying you're supposed to connect these chains to their backs and i don't know are they like slaves um like pulling the thing but it doesn't make sense because a snake can move on its own now um i um I don't know if, like, this was an accident or something, or it's symbolic or something, because, um, well, I mean, we'll just put it this way. Asphira is a lighter color than these people, and these people are supposed to be, like, slaves. So, we'll just put it that way. If you can, um, get what I'm saying, then, um, maybe you'll be a little bit weirded out by that, too. Oh, who knows? Maybe the Lego designer's doing something weird. I have no clue. But uh, that just feels that way to me, and I don't know how to feel about that in a Lego set. So we'll see. But um, this is the head. Um, this was probably one of my favorite parts of the build, mainly because of this tongue and how it's connected. It's connected in such a cool way. You have a bar, and this has holes in the end, so you have to like fold the ends over and bring them in. And it gives us this nice, where it doesn't just lay down on the bottom of the mouth. It stays in the middle because it has it's being stressed a little bit at the back. So it's really interesting. When it closes up, of course, it'll stay flat, which I think that actually looks pretty good. But I prefer to have it open. Um, the eyes are done with one-by-one, one, quarter-round tiles and stuff like that. There's a nice sticker up here. Plenty of really nice part usage in this set. Um, then you've got this banner here. Now, the thing about the throne is it can actually be removed. It's only connected by a few studs. So you can see this. Asphira is at a forward rake because naturally this... Um, this throne is sitting at a slant backwards. So if you take Asphir off and you just look at this awesome throne. Um, now, I haven't watched Game of Thrones, but I've heard quite a few people say that um, this reminds them of, what is it called? And the Iron Throne, I've heard them call it. I Now, if that's wrong, don't make fun of me or anything like that, because I have not watched it, But um, nor will I. But um, I think that's interesting that it looks like it. Um... Um, I've heard someone say that they probably took inspiration from that, so that's kind of interesting to me. But um, I think that this is definitely a cool-looking throne. I like the sword usage up here. My only thing is I wish that these black parts were done in, like, gold or tan or something. I think that would look better. And even these clips down here are in black, but these are in gold. Doesn't matter. Maybe they should have done them all in black, and it all would have been fine. But um, anyways, these banners up here are done in vinyl. The black is um, opaque, but this gold up here and the flames down here are um, translucent. If you don't know what translucent, or if you don't know what opaque means, it means you can't see through it, or it's very hard to. Translucent means you can kind of see through it, and then transparent would be like a window in your house that's meant to be see-through. So, um, that's that. So, on these large vinyls here, there are actually a few different colors. The black is completely trans, um, or completely opaque, as is this kind of a brighter red. The bright red is opaque, but the dark red down here and this orange are completely translucent, so you can see through those. And I think that's really cool 
And it doesn't really look like that on the box, which I'm surprised they didn't show that off more because that's really sick. Now, one thing that the box says you can do is you can take off these pyro um, snakes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw them over here because they really make a mess and they're just getting in the way of everything. So we pick this up and we look at it. You can see a lot of sand blue in here. Anything that kind of looks like gray is sand blue. And um, it's really nice. Those um, little, what I call, um, diagonal flag pieces, they look really good in sand blue. I don't, we've probably gotten them before. I think we have, but they look really good. You get all these cheese slopes and sloped um, elements, whether they're uh, upside down sloped elements or right side up. It's really nice. You get these really awesome stickers down here. Um, I do wish that they continued up a little bit further, maybe got smaller. I don't know how they would do that. Maybe just with printed one by three and then one by two tiles or something or even stickered. But I think that that still looks really good and I think that's a really nice touch. Um, now around the back of the snake, you can see um, these are just black undersides of um, little carriage things. This was a really interesting technique because this is just covering up that. So it just folds forward and then it's really nice technique. I think it looks really good. Now for the tail here, of course it spins. And I think that while it's good on the dragons, I think it works ex especially well here because you know when a snake is angry or something, um, it moves its tail pretty fast. It can swipe its tail back and forth, especially a cobra, which usually um, I've seen pictures of the cobra standing upright. I think this is really cool. And one of my favorite things about this is that, let's just pull this off right here. There are some one by one round plates inside here. So it rattles whenever you go back and forth. It's very faint and you can barely hear it over the, um, the sound of the actual tail just swiping and the things clicking together, the parts. But it's still a really nice touch and um, I'm really glad that they're doing stuff like that. So it's really interesting. It was, uh, I wasn't expecting that, but it was really awesome. Now you have more transparent orange, um, like rock magma pieces. I call it, I just call them rock slopes. So these little rock slopes, you get, I think, how many? Five of them in this set, which is pretty good. So if you're trying to get some of those, this is a great way to. Um, overall, this set is a really good parts pack. I'm probably, I probably won't get another one at any point, but um, part of me is tempted to get another one just for all the sand blue parts and all the transparent orange parts. Even these vinyls would be super interesting to use in another um, another mock or something. So who knows? Maybe I'll end up getting another one for mock usage at some point. Or, um, you know, these are really army builders too because in the show there are uh, many of these. So you could even have like a whole army of these. And I think that's why the throne can be removed is because there's a lot of fire fangs in the show. So I think that they're allowing, it doesn't look so good without it, but I think they're just allowing you to take this off and have a regular fire fang. So I think that's pretty cool. But, um, and that's another thing I wasn't expecting was to be able to take the throne off. But anyways, let's get into the rest of the stuff in this set because there's not a lot. Um, we'll start off with this little thing. This isn't in the show. It's not important in any way at all. It's just extra budget, and that's all I see it as. Um, so if you even just wanted to part this out and get this nice round plate here of the dark tan, that's cool. This little brick piece is nice to get. These dark tan cheese slopes are nice. These are nice. All these transparent parts, this little black piece. I mean, it's really just parts. There's nothing to it. Um, first up, uh, or last up actually, we have Kai and his Forbidden Spinjitsu. So this is different than the one that you can get in the, um, the little Spinjitsu pack. It's different colors and this has glitter. So I think that this is actually really cool. I really like, um, the glitter design and to be honest, I don't really like this design of Spinjitsu that much because I only had one before and I didn't like the color scheme of it. But now that I have this one, and I think this one looks really good for color scheme, I'm starting to warm up to these um, spinjitsus more. So obviously you just put Kai in here, and I find it really hard to spin these. Um, that's my one complaint with these, is I usually like, like to spin them like this. Um, but it's even hard to spin them with his head. 
because his head is such an odd shape that you can't really like spin around, um, you can't really like spin your fingers on this. So I feel like if you took this off, maybe it'd be easier. I haven't actually tried this yet. Yeah, it still kind of sucks. Um, I wish they included one of those little like rods that has a wheel on it. Oh, there we go, that's better. So I guess, I mean, you may get lucky with it, but um, I haven't had any luck with it, so. And it doesn't, it can't even stand up, so you can't even like stand it up next to it. It's whatever, it's meant for play, and obviously I don't wanna play with it, but that's just personal opinion. Um, let's look at the minifigures now. So obviously I kinda showed you this version of Kai, but it's the only good guy included in the set. I believe that every part of him is common, or it just comes in other sets, aside from this headdress, which is exclusive. So this is really nice in this color scheme. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it looks great, much better than Jay's did, and I think that it looks really good on this figure. So, um, really basic printing. You've probably seen this figure before if you like Ninjago. Um, this is my first variant of this new Kai, though. So, I mean, I like it. Let's see. Let's just put them on right here. And we'll put that over there. Now let's look at the um, the really cool figure here, and that is Asphira. So Asphira is, of course, the leader of the Pyro Vipers, and jeez, is she sweet. Such an awesome figure. Um, I didn't as uh, necessarily love her in the show. There are um, there are villains I like less, but um, she's definitely not the best villain. Although I really do like how she is portrayed here. I really like this mold. I mean, all of the Pyro Viper molds are just really sweet. I'll show you these figures in a second, but everything they use on them is just so good. And I think that's what really makes me fall in love with this theme, especially. I may not like season 11, but I really love the sets, um, especially the land bounty. I'm probably not gonna get the land bounty anytime soon. Um, I might get it eventually in the not too distant future, but, um, I really don't prefer it. I think that um, the price is bad on it, so I'll probably wait for it to go way down in price. But this is anyways a really sick figure. One thing I wasn't expecting, I was thinking this was gonna be gold and trans orange. But no, this is, uh, as you can see, the fire actually starts up mid torso. So this is just yellow and trans orange. And I think that that's absolutely fine. Um, around the back, this piece is in gold, um, this head. Um, this figure only comes in the land bounty as well. So this figure only comes in two sets, a $40 set and a $130 set. Um, now this piece right here actually surprised me because I knew this was supposed to be gold mixed of transparent uh, orange, but the thing about it is I figured the transparent orange would be the top half and the gold would be the bottom half. No. The entire thing is a mixture of the two. Like, just look at the comparison between her hand and the actual bar. You can kind of borderline C through this entire thing. It's it's an opaque piece at the bottom. It's more translucent up here where this uh, plastic is thinner. But oh my gosh, this figure is amazing. Um, especially this mold. I really love it. Um, and I can't believe that they created such a great piece. These guys are pretty similar. Um, this one's cool. This one just is just less cool because he doesn't have the actual armor piece. But then again, they wanted to have some differentiation. You just attach the chains at the back. It's nice to get these chains in transparent orange. Don't think those have come in too many sets. Um, you get these nice shields here. This really nice sword in bronze. bronze. But my favorite weapon is actually this elven sword in this bronze. I think that looks really good, and it's probably my favorite weapon in this set. Um, it's really basic. You actually get an extra of it. I don't know if you're supposed to get an extra but you get an extra of this. And I think this would be really useful in some mocks or something. So I really love um, that piece. And like I said, just showing you this in the sunlight too, it really helps show you things like, just look at like how good that looks in the sunlight. This might be my new light setup. <laughs> Cause you know my light setup's pretty, um, pretty trash. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this awesome view of the Lego Ninjago Fire Fang. Um, it's been fun to record a review. I haven't done many reviews lately, nor do I really plan on them. But if you want to see more reviews and you want to see me review more sets, just let me know. There's a few more Ninjago sets that um, I could review um, soon. So I might do that. Just let me know if you want to see those. And 
I guess I'll get back to you with those as soon as I can. The Zebrix podcast show, remember, comes on uh, comes out on Saturdays, um, Central Time at noon. So this week it'll be with Maniac for Bricks, and um, yeah. So I guess I'll see you then. That'll be my next video. Ka-chow.